welcome to today's video. So please this is clean. Today's video. <laughs> I really don't know what to do, but I think what I could do in this video is um maybe how to generate random strings in JavaScript. So basically there's so many ways to do that stuff, like to generate random strings in um JavaScript. So basically I'll be using um I'll be using Google Chrome Drive to so open your let's see how it goes. So basically you can use anything actually, but in this case I'll be using um Google Chrome too. So let's bring this down. How do I open this? Yeah, I think so. Sorry about that. I really didn't know how to do this. Okay. <laughs> Man, I really didn't know how to do this. So let's see. Oh, okay. So basically, um let's open in depth to yeah and yes I like I like to find that very well and so let's get out um right yeah shoot so let me bring this up here yeah. a little bit yeah so basically now how do you generate random strings in JavaScript so basically there's so many ways but at first, of course, you should know like okay, we start with math, like this is what we want to use math or random. So with math or random we get random numbers and so on. So with that random number you can do a lot of stuff. So this random number actually you can just random number dot a string a string I guess. Then you could get random strings. Then with these you could like um let's say you want random number like random just flop numbers with these with the results from another random math random you could um do times anything like say times 10 or times 50 or and let's say one thousand or so you could increase it and with that you can get then you can you can get it basically like it will and then you can see it using math.co uh, math.co I guess man this is so <laughs> I actually don't know what I'm doing so with this you can get like <laughs> random numbers just random numbers but like okay let's uh, let's go out random strings so you could do math dot um, random yeah then dot two string um then you could do this yeah that's a string then from there you can see okay that sub string you can remove the um, you can remove the uh, message zero point and five i know this is dumb but something so i usually say that actually i don't know i just use to generate around like most time i actually use this to generate like otp if you know what to be one time pass a pin so this is very simple i just use to generate otp very fast you can six like give you six um six numbers with these and I'm done actually I'm done so another thing you can add to this you can um provide like a param if you know these I think it's a very cool thing like you can add a param here like it's called radix so you basically you can just add one yeah, I think it doesn't work that way must be in between oh must be between two and thirty six so you move so now i really don't know what it does but like i like using it i like it a lot <laughs> so from two yeah you can just get two so with this i can get like just one and zeros one and zeros so it will give you number between one and zero one and zero then three but that doesn't mean three give you numbers between one and three actually just um is it i think i, I think so i'm not sure Yeah, so I think with this to give you, um, it will, it will give you um, numbers between those stuff. So if you need to generate um num uh, numbers like random, is a number within those like within one and four. That means to generate one, two, three. So with this, you can just limit numbers generated. And yeah, then there's another thing. So I started from ten. You can actually start getting into strings. Like not only numbers, characters also. So from ten, 
everything. No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So like, okay, now so uh, I think um, we can generate from one to nine. So um, once it's once it's uh, past ten, start adding um, start adding characters. So I think it is um, starting from eleven now. Eleven. So yeah, from twelve. <laughs> so like I do this a lot. So you can get so with this now you can get like random strings. Random strings. Just with this line. This is one line code you can get random strings from JavaScript. Okay. And you can also increase the radix. Um so fifteen or so ten. I mean I really don't know how that works, how it works. I don't know because I just need a random string to just get things done and I really don't know how it works. But I think it was so with this I can get random strings. But I think but not every time it's not every time you actually get the character. Sometimes you just get full number. Sometimes you get like fifty the characters in. So I so the best one I usually use is um I think I use strings most times to get like to make sure I get that characters. So I use twenty to get characters almost every time. So down is for sure. You know, down with like you, you, there's a there's like say it's five percent chance that you will always get characters, not only numbers. So yeah. Is it sorry, I keep saying characters. Um it should be letters actually. Letters. There's there's letters, there's number, there's characters, so they're all characters actually, they're all strings. Um, I don't know. So don't take it serious, but just look at one thing. Math or random like the string or the substring. So you can use that with dot with um the substring you can use that to like limit the number of um number of strings you want to get. So now with this you can limit it to six. Length of six. Uh okay. There you go. So with this now you can just say uh, okay I want your random string link and just slap this into your code and you have a very efficient random string generator like what do you need then you can just do you can just add a function just add a function add a function um generate generate random string We done. Ta -da. Then we can also improvise this to length, so you can do mm, so you can do length. Because six. So you can do length across the six. Then we can just add a length here. Um, and you. We could. So it is. You can provide that, or you can also like do ten. I think. What do you think? So sorry about that. Okay. Let me get something. So yeah. We we don't like we just this one line code you. You already have a random string generator. Like all you have to do is just get random, mad or random string, <coughs> mad or random, convert it to a string with your radix, and also then you can use substring to limit the length of the string generated. So <coughs> yeah, that's how easy to generate string on mad. So <laughs> really, I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> Because this, I think this will be the first time I'm showing my, I'm showing my video for man, I mean it. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you for watching this video. So if you have learned something, please comment in the section below. And if you have other shorter ways to like generate random strings, please, please, please do 
comment below. Like, I really want to see the like. I really want to see. I really want to see like the best way, like the best online code, uh, online engine, string generator in JavaScript. Like, there's so many ways, but like this is what I use most time. I use this in. I even use this in generating um very long strings. Like for email, email tokens. I use this for OTP. I use this for so so many stuff. Like. No, you use this for generating DWT. Nah, I'm just joking. <laughs> so, yeah, and again, thank you for watching this video. Please do comment in the section below. And also, please share this video, like this video. And also, please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Okay, guys, peace.